Hey, hello, this is Bruce. Welcome back to Clep's Garage. Today on Clep's Garage, we're going to revisit uh, an old friend here I call Catzilla. It's uh, a car that I worked on, started back in 1985. And uh, just finishing up the, well, the bodywork's been done, but we wanted to wrap it. So today we're going to wrap the caddy. So uh, let's see what how this turns out. Come along, let's, let's watch and learn. Alright, now that you see what the car looks like, let's talk about it. Let's start with the origins. It's a 1974 Cadillac Fleetwood uh, Brome is what it started out to be. Four-door sedan. I'll show you a picture of it here. Uh, maybe on this side. Not sure yet. Maybe over there. We'll you'll figure it out. Anyhow, uh, it started out this uh, ugly-looking four-door sedan. I actually bought it back in the day because I had a 71 Cadillac, which you can see on episode 71. And... Uh, I needed a motor, so this car was a $200 car. I got the motor, rebuilt it, threw it in the other car, long story short. So then what to do with this car? Well, it was nothing but a big piece of junk, parts car. I thought, well, I, I can't hurt it any, I don't think. I mean, it's already rusted out. It's a piece of junk, took the motor and driveline out of it. Let's, um, let's cut it in half <laughs> and stretch it out and make a limousine, because back in the day, I was running a limousine service home weddings. I had a factory limo which didn't have the stretch between the doors and everybody was wanting that well they were fifty thousand dollars back then and mm, i didn't have that much so you know two hundred dollar car what could go wrong there so after we uh stretched it out took a couple years for my sheet metal guy to uh to do the side panels in the top and after i got it back i decided i didn't really like the top so uh, after it sat for oh i don't know about 20 years <laughs> when i moved to my present location I decided that car needs to go. It's not worth anything. It's a piece of junk. However, I did have the drive line done. The drive shaft was done. It did run and drive. So uh, after I cut the top off of it, I said, hey, uh, parade car. This is kind of neat. So then I started working on it again, and I started fixing things that wasn't quite right. Took the side panels back off, redid the way they were. Since it was now a convertible, it needed some different supporting. Not really, but it, I put in... Uh, uh, side impact beams took them out of a two-door Cadillac out of the t out of the two doors and uh, put them in here and, and decided that would stiffen that up help it a lot better and uh, then I redone the side panels and put the side panels back on and then started the body work because the body was rusted out from about the rear wheel rear doors back you know quarter panels stuff like that so a friend of mine come over, Greg, and you've seen him before. He, he tends to make a mess out of things. I, I call him Gus Messmaker, but uh, we do have fun, and we end up finishing a project. So he come over, and we started welding on the sheet metal and redoing the, uh, the, back, uh, the back wheels. So the, the easiest thing to do, instead of putting it all back original, was cut the rust out. Well, uh, he said, hey, 57 Chevy has this nice curve, and uh, why don't we just do that? And uh, so that's what we end up doing. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm standing here in front of a Lincoln chassis, that's because the same guy developed and started the Cadillac Motor Company in 1900, 1901, and then started the Lincoln Motor Company in 1917. A guy by the name of Henry Leland. So if you're bored, look him up. That's the reason why I like both Lincolns and Cadillacs. Where was I? Oh yeah, back to Cadzilla, uh, the rear, uh, the rear quarters. So we got back to the rear quarters. Of course, they were going, and uh, well, what to do with the rear quarters? Um, so my friend Greg brings, gets a piece of paper and cuts out a, uh, oh, I guess you'd call it a fin. We tried putting it up on the top of the car, and I, I mean, that's been done. 1959. I mean, that's pff, every car had fins up to up to here, so we didn't need to do that. So I said. Let's put them down on that quarter panel that's missing because uh, 61 to 62 Cadillacs had them down there too. They had fins all over the place, up on top, down below, down the sides. So if you look up a 61, 62 Cadillac, you'll see what I'm talking about. So uh, we finned it. That was, uh, that was the next project. And uh, after we got done doing that, well, it was time to do the body work. And uh, we got the sheet metal all fixed up. Uh, Greg worked on some bondo because we we shaved the whole car we took off all the side moldings and they had riveted uh, spot riveted 
rivets on there to hold the molding on. We got rid of the door handles. We got rid of the mirrors. Uh, just shaved the whole car and make it smooth because, well, we didn't really need any of that stuff. So uh, here's Greg uh, working on the Cadillac. And then uh, there's a picture of me pointing to the trunk. That was the last hole that I welded shut in the car. I don't know how many holes I fixed and welded, but that was that's what we did. So then we started priming it, and we got a good coat of primer on it. And then we went to the white primer. And after I got done painting it white, well, I was kind of bored with it because I didn't know what to do with it after that. So then we just started letting it, driving it around, letting my boys drive it and hauling people. Uh, here's a picture of my son, Ted, at his senior recognition day, I think it was, or senior send-off day. Anyhow, him and, uh, what is it? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, at least 12 people in this car. And um, they had a blast. They, they drove it all over the place. And uh, they didn't negotiate speed bumps too well. They all had to jump out of the car drive over the speed bump and then jump back in the car so from about 2016 till well just this last week a couple weeks ago october of 24 uh, the car was white and it was used in parades and hauling friends and family to ice cream uh, we done a, a breast cancer walk a mile in her shoes where the men dressed up as women and promoted breast cancer in the month of october which it's the month of october right this minute and i might have this out before November, I don't know. So uh, it's been in that parade. And then I got the bright idea, let's let's wrap this thing. It's a lot cheaper than painting. I know a guy that does good work. Uh, so uh, that's uh, the car's kind of morphed over the last 30 some years of being that old ugly four door sedan. It's actually something now that we can use and have fun with. And um, yeah you know, do parades and things, and boy, does it turn the heads. Wow. <laughs> so anyhow, let's, uh, let's show what the end result looks like, and, uh, and I hope you like it.
there you go. Catzilla's all wrapped. Uh, went with the uh, Betsy Ross theme, 1776, because, well, why not? This is a great country. That's when it was founded. And, well, this car needed something. There really wasn't enough room for 50-some stars on this hood. The 13 kind of go good. And we'll move on back and talk about the rest of it. So we got the stars and the stripes, and what way better to top that off and to fade out into nothing is a nice eagle coming at you with a look of determination. Now, if that's not good enough, there's a second one here fading away, and there's one barely visible here fading away. But uh, come out really good. Now I'm going to talk about the trunk and why we did that and what we're doing with that. The trunk is dedicated to all those that have survived breast cancer and that nasty disease. I'm going to let my wife tell you more about that here in a few minutes. But let's first take this puppy down the road and see what it looks like from the air and going down the road. Cadzilla. It's October. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We done show you what we uh, did for the trunk to make awareness. My wife Barb is an actual survivor. She's going on what five years now? Five years, yes. So uh, I don't know, tell the women out there how you, how this started. So per usual, I had my mammogram. They found something they didn't like. I ended up having a bilateral mastectomy later on that year, and went through that whole process of implants. Um, I just want to encourage everyone, every woman, to get their yearly mammogram. Early detection is the key. And then this was a, it was a year old deal from the time we started until the time that he was finished with all the procedures. It, it took about a whole year, but it was uh, was well worth doing. Uh, you're five years strong, right? Yes, I graduated. Yeah, they said she graduated, so she's five years strong. No reoccurrence. Uh, make sure that you self-check, make sure you go to the 
doctor for your mammogram, like she said, because it's it's really it's I, how many I forget how many women is affected by it. It's like the it's number one cancer. For yeah, women. it's probably one in five women is affected with it. So about everybody you know, somebody's going to be affected. So early detection, get it taken care of, be a survivor, survivor strong, right? Survivor strong. Yes. Yes. So until next time, drive them if you got them. And this, will this stay? Yeah. yeah. So, it's, so it's a little bit, when you ride, it's a little bit hard to push. So just okay, that. okay. I trouble. That maybe I'm just weak. <laughs> I, they'll say, who in the kindergartner wrote this one? <laughs> Oh, he said mine could be, uh, I could be a doctor. You should be. <laughs> hey, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. All right, we're sitting in the back of Cadzilla. I'm with my wife, Barb. And uh, if you notice, the trunk was all dedicated to uh, breast cancer, breast cancer awareness. This is the month of October. So what better time to talk about breast cancer? And I'm going to as Barb, Barb's a breast cancer survivor, and maybe tell them how you got it detected and what happened. Why? I know you're ready. Okay. You're not ready. <coughs> Is this going to take all day? Do they sound okay? I don't know yet. You better go shine and find out. Look. Okay, say goodnight, Barb. Goodnight, Gracie. Goodnight, Gracie. <laughs> You're probably going to use that, aren't you? Might use it for the very end.